Welcome to the Neural Time Series Data Analysis Lecturelets. Let's start with a basic question. Why are you here? I don't mean this in a very uh, sort of deep existential sense, you know, what is the point of life? I'm asking why are you here on this website watching these, uh, these uh, data analysis lectures? I guess that you are here because you want to analyze your data. You have neural time series data, EEG or MEG or LFP data. You want to analyze your data, but you're looking at your computer screen and MATLAB looks something like this. But this is frustrating because what you really want is for MATLAB to look something like this. And this you want uh, in order to produce things that look like this. And these kinds of things you want because you hope that it will get you something like this. So, uh, welcome to the uh, Data Analysis Lecturelets by uh, Mike Cohen. That's me. I'm your disembodied tour guide who will uh, lead you through these data analysis lectures. So, the big idea, the, the reason why I am making these lectures is because I believe very strongly that scientists should know how to analyze their data. This may sound very trivial, but Unfortunately, in neuroscience, the, the brain is a very complicated, um, very mysterious information processing system. And as uh, neuro neuroscience technologies become more and more sophisticated, and as it becomes uh, cheaper and cheaper to measure more and more data, to, to get more and more information out of the brain, it's becoming increasingly insufficient just to know how a t-test works or how an ANOVA works. The data that we are acquiring from the brain is getting more and more complicated, more and more sophisticated, and so it's becoming more and more important to, to know how to analyze the data in appropriate ways. And, uh, and so I think it's, it's, a, it's very important for scientists to to understand at a at kind of a, a deep implementational level at a very flexible level how these data analyses actually work. So here's what you will hopefully uh, but certainly will not get out of these uh, these lecturelets. First of all what you will get out of these lectures is a basic understanding of time frequency based analyses in particular uh, as they uh, are used in neuroscience and cognitive neuroscience. Um, you will have a pretty good understanding of the mathematics and the reasoning, the, the logic behind applying these analyses, and a pretty solid introduction to how these analyses are implemented in, in MATLAB code, in the MATLAB environment. So that's what you will get. What you will not get, unfortunately, is a complete understanding of all of the time frequency based analyses that can be applied to neural time series data. The, the world of time frequency based analyses and how they can be applied to, uh, to time series data is, is very large. There are many, many uh, analyses and many different analysis approaches that all fall under the general uh, sort of uh, structure of time frequency uh, approaches. Um, and so it, it, you will not become an expert at uh, data analysis just from watching these lectures. It takes several years and quite a lot of experience to really become an expert at data analysis. But if you want to become an expert at data analysis, then I hope that watching these videos will, will certainly help you along the way. Most importantly, what you will not get out of these lectures is tutorial guidelines for how to um, press buttons or call MATLAB functions to, to run um, data analysis, uh, automated data analysis streams in some analysis toolbox like EEG Lab or Field Trip or SPM or Brain Vision Analyzer or any of the other uh, data analysis toolboxes or software packages that exist. Just to be clear and for the record, there is nothing wrong with using EEG Lab or Field Trip or any of these other toolboxes. Um, and I have nothing uh, against using these toolboxes, but I think it's important to understand what is happening to your data between the raw data and the final production figures that you're submitting to a, to a journal or showing on a poster. 
Um, and this level of knowledge is not going to come from using toolboxes and it's not going to come from the tutorials uh, from these toolboxes that you can download or that you'd find on the web. Okay, so how do you best learn from these uh, all these videos that I am uh, posting on here? <clears throat> The, the best way to do this, I think, is to go to the website and watch the video. And you can also download the uh, MATLAB script. So most of these videos come with uh, MATLAB scripts that you can download. And then you can follow along with me as I'm uh, giving the lecture. Um, so you can watch the video and then also have MATLAB open with the script from that video. Um, and then go through the exercises with me. And on several videos, on many videos, I will have only, you know, half a line of MATLAB code or an incomplete line of MATLAB code. And I will give you the opportunity to pause the video and um, complete the line of MATLAB code and as a sort of challenge to test yourself to make sure you can complete the exercise. And then when you're finished, you can unpause the video and see how I solved the problem. So I think that's really the best way to um, to go about learning from these from these videos. So uh, just a little bit just to introduce you to this uh, disembodied voice that's going to be guiding you through all of these videos. Uh, this is me. My name is Mike. Um, uh, please don't call me Dr. Cohen. That feels awkwardly formal and uh, and makes me feel very old. So you can just call me Mike. I have been teaching. Um, uh, neuroscience data analysis courses for six years now um, and probably you know somewhere around 150 to, to 200 students and so over the years I've I've tried very hard to refine how I um, teach and how I present the material and try to understand uh, where students get get stuck and confused and, and where students need um, a little bit more uh, uh, introduction or a little bit more um, uh, background compared to what you might just read on Wikipedia or um, uh, or in a tutorial website from uh, from some data analysis package. In addition to teaching, I've written uh, two books on the topic. The main one is called Analyzing Neural Time Series Data. It's also the name of the course that I teach and the name of these uh, these video lectures. Um, this book is goes into much more depth than um, about all the topics that I'll cover in these lectures, um, uh, but in more in more depth and with more explanation than I will give um, orally. And a second book is called Fundamentals of Time Frequency Analyses in MATLAB Octave. Um, this book is about um, uh, understanding how time frequency analyses work. This one is not really specific for um, neuroscience or for EEG data. So. That's uh, just by way of justifying my uh, role as your as your tour guide through these uh, lectures. So thank you for uh, for coming to this website and uh, watching these lectures. I hope you find them enjoyable and educational.